is YouTube luck? Over the years, thousands of creators have started on the platform and eventually come up earning millions. Half a million dollars. Higher. You've made more than, this 15 year old kid has made more than half a million dollars. 182,000 dollars. A little higher. But at the same time, thousands more creators have tried doing the exact same thing and failed miserably in the end. My accountant said, Yusuf, where are you gonna make your money? I said, that's not a problem to me. I didn't care. Well today, I'm here to figure out why is that? What are the secrets to YouTube success? And my hope is by starting a brand new channel here in 2024, I can prove that success on YouTube isn't luck. Because if I can replicate the success I've had on this channel over again in 2024, then it's clearly not luck. So today is day number one of this challenge, and this is where we pick a niche for our brand new YouTube channel. There's definitely a lot of options for types of content I can make on this channel, but here's where this video gets a little bit controversial. Hear me out though. Slot machine content has been absolutely exploding on the internet with many new creators popping up, especially on YouTube and quickly getting thousands of views on every single upload. On top of that, gambling is like one of the fastest growing industries right now with sponsors like Stake paying out millions. So if you ask me the fastest way, but maybe not the most ethical way to YouTube fame and fortune, well, I think I might've found it. So I drove to the casino for my first video on this new channel. All right, guys, we have officially made it to the casino behind me to begin this 30 day journey of starting a brand new YouTube channel from scratch. I then filmed the intro to the video for this new channel and began gambling on the slot machines. Five minutes and we already lost 60 bucks, but we're gonna go to another machine next. I'm going to be accounting for the entire cost to operate this channel over the next 30 days. From the cost for staff to help film and edit, to gambling losses, to the potential cost for gambling rehab, I'm gonna keep track of all of our expenses during this video and subtract it from the profits we potentially make. All right, guys, we're just leaving the casino now. We ended up losing $150 in total, which definitely isn't great, but we got three videos for the channel out. We gotta start making money from this channel soon since it definitely costs some money to operate. As I posted each video over the next seven days, views weren't looking great. So this channel definitely isn't an overnight success. So far, it's seen a total of 51 views, 1.6 watch hours, and one subscriber gained, which is me on my other account. And I'm not gonna lie, since posting the original three videos, I haven't posted on that channel in over a month. That's because I realized in order to achieve success on YouTube in 30 30 days or less, it's easiest when you can make content that can be mass produced. And doing that with gambling content requires a lot more money up front than I'm willing to spend and also a lot more time. As an example, in the one week I made videos, I spent $250. So you can see how that adds up, which makes me want to switch my strategy to short form content, clipping viral moments from podcasts, live streams, or even Reddit. This has proven to be a very lucrative hustle with clippers for influencers like Andrew Tate or Bradley Martin were said to be making $1,000 daily or sometimes even more. There's a 16 year old kid making 45 grand a month. This got me thinking if I could make upwards of 50 videos per day from different podcast clips, live stream clips, or Reddit stories, and maybe if I'm lucky, sneak some relevant affiliate links into those YouTube shorts, this second method of short form content could be a major success. And a tool we're going to use to help with this is InVideo AI. So as an example, a popular video trend you may have noticed over the last two years or so is Reddit story time threads being repurposed into a special short form content. You know those story time videos with the little subway surfers b-roll on the bottom? Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. And they also get repurposed into long form content with compilation videos titled two hours of interesting Reddit stories to fall asleep to. Using InVideo AI, I can almost fully automate a YouTube channel with this type of content. So I created a channel called Planet Reddit where I copy and paste viral storylines from Reddit and tell AI to add b-roll with a voiceover and an emotion of music that fits the storyline. So as an example, I just asked InVideo AI to make a video from a Reddit story time post where a daughter talks about ruining her dad's wedding and him being a serial cheater. This is what we created. My dad is a serial cheater. He cheated on my mom a lot during their marriage and it came to light after she was diagnosed with- I'm not gonna show the entire two minute and 55 second video, but I'm pretty shocked at how good it turned out. If I were to pay an editor to make this, it'd probably take them over an hour. And with this platform, we got it done in like five minutes. I'm now going to post this video to a TikTok page with Subway Surfers B-roll on the bottom. And we're also gonna add this clip as a part of a 10 minute compilation video on YouTube titled, The Saddest Reddit Stories That Will Make You Cry. In the beginning of any business venture, you 
you need to be passionate about it and be willing to work super hard. So I'm about to go live on this YouTube channel and film myself making content for the YouTube automation channels. Wish me luck, guys. In total, I streamed for about an hour and a half and then spent five additional hours making more videos to post on the TikTok and YouTube page. It is now the next day, and as you guys can see on our TikTok page, we've gotten a total of 42,000 views off of 11 TikToks posted so far. And as you guys can see on our YouTube page, we got a few hundred views on our first upload, and we just posted our second video. Now, although we haven't made any money yet, as soon as you hit 10,000 followers on TikTok, you can start making money from something known as the TikTok Creativity Fund. This pays $1 per 1,000 views you get on the platform, but you have to make sure the videos are over one minute in length, which I mostly made sure to do. In that case, we would have made $40 on our first day of TikTok if that page was monetized. So no wonder tons of teenagers are getting into this hustle, making lots of money. You've been going around saying some crazy numbers, yeah. six figures per month at how old are you? 16 now. On day two, I did a lot of the same stuff using InVideo AI to generate banger Reddit stories combined with either Subway Surfers clips or satisfying videos. As you guys may call it, brain dead content. I do want to give a quick shout out to the sponsor of this video, InVideo AI, for making this all possible. By using their software, it's allowed me to post more videos on my page frequently, allowing me to grow my social media pages faster than I would otherwise. And if you guys sign up using the custom link down below, you can start for free and turn your video ideas into reality. As you guys can see, you can make anywhere from YouTube videos to TikToks to IG Reels or even just use InVideo AI to make YouTube video scripts. AI is quickly taking over the social media space, so if you guys are looking to start a channel in 2024, this is a great tool to start with. I spent the rest of the day editing more videos to post on the page, and we got our first 60k viewed post on TikTok. Let's go, guys! And this video is over a minute in length, so if it were monetized, I would be up $60 right now. And in total on all our videos, we got 180,000 views, which would be about $180 in revenue. And this RPM can be proven when you take a look at my personal page, where I posted a video with 544.5k views, and it made almost 500 bucks. But as for the YouTube channel, when we take a look at the analytics, you guys can see things are a bit slower, which is normal. We have almost 4,000 views, and our last post didn't get a lot of views, but it's currently a 2 out of 10, which in YouTube terms means it's the second best performing video out of the last 10 we posted. I kept working on the channel, focusing mainly on podcast clips, as I noticed those got the most views for me. The podcast clips I'm posting all seem to be getting the most views, so I think I'm gonna double down on this. The only issue being that this content takes a long time to gain subscribers. As you guys can see by our page, we only have 18 followers, but we've already hit all the other requirements for monetization, which is 100,000 views in the past 30 days. So yeah, it is now April 15th, and this challenge originally started back in February, but it didn't truly know what type of content I wanted to make until a little over a week ago. And in that time, we gained 45 subscribers on YouTube, got over 200,000 views on TikTok, and made zero dollars to show for it. So yeah, no crazy results yet, but this channel is bound to be a success if I keep making content, adapting, and truly not giving up. But there's something I didn't realize throughout this entire journey. It took me almost two years of grinding to see my first dollar from this YouTube channel, and in recent years, it's turned into a six-figure business. The key is to be passionate about what you're doing, focus on consistent progress over dollars, and one day when you finally figure things out, you'll be blessed with a great reward. Like this video we just posted on TikTok a couple hours ago, and as you guys can see, it's at 23,000 views. To give you guys an update on that, it is now the next morning, and that video we posted yesterday is sitting at 285.3k views. It's also over a minute in length, so it looks like this could be quite the profitable venture. And on the YouTube channel, some of our videos picked up with a total of 24.3k views. YouTube is one of the most dreamed of jobs for kids nowadays, so if you're one of those people, my advice to you is to not worry about what other people think. If it's something you truly want to do, stick with it. I used to get hated on for making YouTube videos all the time, and as I kept pushing, it became one of the most rewarding experiences of my life. Thank you guys so much for watching. 5,000 likes for a part two, and check out this video on the screen for more tips on how to grow a YouTube channel. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out.